Whew, what up y'all welcome back to yet another video it's your boy Ricky Moto check it out the R3 is looking beautiful and it's also snowing out today it's the first snow day of the year I'm super hyped I love snow I just think it looks super sick but the only downside is I can't go out and ride so what we're gonna be doing today in this video is we're gonna be doing a mirror delete for the front two OEM mirrors I'm gonna be taking them off I don't have any block off plates that's a downside but it doesn't really matter because I plan to get aftermarket winglet mirrors anyway and then i want to install a bar end mirror right over here because you do need at least one mirror on your bike in order for it to be legal for my last bike the z125 pro i actually removed the mirrors and never installed anything else so i ran that completely mirrorless and i did that for like four or five months never got pulled over i mean here's the thing most cops kind of already have a feeling that bikers are up to no good so regardless of how you modify your bike like they're just gonna either be cool with it let you slide or they're gonna pull you over regardless and a little update to my fender eliminator um i was originally using the driven racing or driven something uh fender eliminator but i feel like it wasn't low enough so i ended up keeping the same uh top bracket but i switched the actual license plate bracket uh to the tst industries i had it uh left over for my z125 pro so i just kind of jerry rigged it and just bolted it in like kind of backwards i might actually adjust it a little bit more and close the gap a little further in so there are two screws holding this down and it's actually covered by these little plastic covers caps things so you want to take a flathead screwdriver and you just want to get under it and just pop it out just try not to actually scratch anything because you know that would suck. There should be an Allen key screw underneath. And as you loosen up the bolt, just make sure you hold on to your mirror because you don't want it to just drop just like that. And bada beam, bada boom. Now, since I'm not using mirror block off plates, I'm just going to put the original bolts back in. Okay, so now it's time to install the bar end mirror. And uh, I got this from Cycle Gear. I don't know exactly what brand it is, but it was like the cheapest thing that I can get. Um, this was a universal mirror. I'm pretty sure you can find these on eBay for much less. So first things first, you want to remove the you know bar end piece. It kind of free spins a little bit, but you want to put an Allen key in here and loosen it up. But as you loosen it up, you want to hold onto this plastic piece. Okay, I just spent 30 minutes trying to figure this thing out and I finally did it. Basically, you had to remove the screw that was inside of this black piece, but I couldn't really get a grip on it, so I just got this little tiny bit and I put it on a freaking power drill. I just like hit it with some torque and then it just came out in like two seconds. So, so here's the tricky part. You actually can't use the original um, anti-vibration mount, so you actually have to get rid of it. And the way you do so is you take the original bolt and this gives you a little bit of grip to pull and yank out all of the metal underneath. Okay, so now that you have this piece out, you just want to continue to take the whole entire bar out of here. All right, so after you tighten down the bolt, it should be pretty sturdy. Uh, the metal basically would just start expanding wider and wider, and that's how it gets held in. It's all basically just friction in here. And then the mirror down here is adjustable, so you know, um, when the handlebars are straight, you can always point uh, your mirrors up and down, out and in. A little bit of a front view, like an overview type thing. As you can see, very flush on front. And then we have the little bar end down over there. 